Hello everyone, this video is going to talk about how to calculate how much mass flux there is in a fire plume. In other words, if we have, let's say, a fire here of, of diameter, some effective diameter D, and we have a fire, and then we have our plume, which comes up and expands, how much how how much mass flux is there in this? So we got m dot of p. So m dot p is in kilograms per second. So we say we can use any, a correlation developed by Thomas et al. It's it's recorded in SFP Handbook Section Two, Chapter One. Uh, this is specifically useful if if you want to know how big to build a fume hood if you're gonna uh, run a fire experiment and you want to know how much gas you're gonna have to pull out of the room or how much gas is going to be generated well how much smoke is going to be headed towards the ceiling if you're if you're in a in a compartment fire situation so we have m dot p is equal to 0 0.8 0 0.188 pi over 4 d squared times z which is the height in meters to the 3 halves power so we have m dot p in kilograms per second this is our plume flow we have d which is our effective diameter in meters and z is the height also in meters so let's say we had d is equal to one meter we had a one meter diameter fire and we were interested at what the plume flow was at three meters above the floor so we would go m dot p is equal to 0 0.188 times pi over 4 times 1 squared times 3 to the 3 halves power and then m dot p is equal to 0 0.767 kilograms per second so this is one way to calculate the mass flux of, of gas coming coming off of a fire at any given height. So I hope you found this useful and have a good day.